What's going on, y'all? March 26th, Sunday, beautiful day. And Pops and I are back in the shop. He uh, he just sat down on the stool and got him a half inch bit. He's fixing to run the bit through the holes in the rear four bar brackets, or three link brackets on this car. He's gonna clean them out that way because we got a lot of paint in them. So that's what he's gonna work on. I am going to work on packing the other bearings for this hub here. And uh, we'll get this other hub on this rear end. Our goal today is, is to get this rear end under the chassis and get kind of kind of where we want it. Uh, I'll turn the phone around and show y'all what we're gonna do to get it under there. All right, so what we were doing this morning, uh, shout out to my buddy, Big Jake. He had some wheels and tires at his place. Uh, they're just old, like a couple of them are old E-Mod tires and a couple of old H500s. And uh, we had wheels and tires, if y'all noticed, back in the corner uh, that we'd have accumulated. And um, so we were just kind of going through what we got. All these have wheels in them. These have wheels in them. Some of them are older wheels. They need a, a little bit of love, but that ain't no big deal. They need a little bit of lip work, but that ain't nothing but a hammer and a little dolly. And uh, we've been accumulating H500s. Uh, these are pull-offs from a bunch of buddies. So we've just been accumulating those. These are good spares. And a few of them will probably run because they're actually pretty good. So, uh, But for now, we're trying to figure out what we can put on it to roll it around. And uh, we got that one there. And then we just put air in this one to see if it holds air because it was leaking down before. So we uh, resealed the bead and we're going to see what, what happens with it. But Pop's got us fixed up this morning. He uh, he found the spacers for our pull bar bracket and got a high just stuck in there just to make sure. And uh, if y'all remember, we changed the J-bar on Blake's car and this J-bar is bent, but we're just gonna use it for now to get our center to center. And then we can order a new tube because this adjuster and everything is all new. So we can, We'll figure out our center to center, then we'll order a J-bar that's not bent. And if y'all remember, the shawl car we worked on not long ago had the real tall four foot pull bar that is bent and crooked and everything else. <laughs> We're gonna pop some drilling, so if that's what y'all hear. We are gonna we're going to cut this and weld it to get the length we need to get our pinion angle set uh, when, once we get it at right height. And then we'll use that for now until we can get our, get our center to center. And then we can figure out what we need to order. But that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to throw it up on time lapse and get these bearings packed because y'all seen me struggle with it last night. So uh, Pops is drilling out some holes. We're gonna get this thing rolling. Y'all hang out. All right, y'all. Got that hub on. Y'all seen in the time lapse, I was putting those bearings in there and packing those. Pops has got our lower control arms laying here. And uh, he's going to, uh, he's working on bushings right now to put in the hymns so we can bolt in. Temporarily. temporarily bolt the bars in till we get some tubing the right size to make spacers out of and get some misalignment bushings. So he's working on that right now. Uh, we're going to lay this rear end down here in a minute and bolt a, another wheel and tire on it. And then that way we can roll it up under the car and we'll get it up on jack stands. And that way we can start bolting all that stuff together. So y'all hang out. <laughs>
I'm trying to pick up the whole tripod so I can move it. But there's the rear end up under the car. That's what we've been, that's what we've been shooting for. I get the camera set up right here. What we're gonna do now, Pops and I are gonna work on getting the bird cages bolted on, getting our bars bolted in, the lowers, get the J bar bolted on. Pops has got it zip tied up right there. Like I said, that's the bent one off of Blake's car. We're just trying to figure out all of our center to center measurements. Once we figure all that out, then we can order us a good J bar. We're gonna take this old pull bar, like I said, and cut it. Then we can order what we need. Once we get it, the car sitting at right height, see what, get our opinion where we want it and see what we need. So y'all hang out with us. Pops is working on some bushings and uh, he's got some bolts right now. I got two. Uh, he's ready to bolt some stuff on. So I'm just getting them laid up here. I got you. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm fixing to grab the bird cages, stick them on that housing right there. And we'll see if we can't put something on this thing. I know a lot of y'all been wanting. I gotta go buy a bag full of half inch nuts, plot nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Try to calm up a bear or what? the new subscribers this is the bird cages that we built we uh had a friend of ours cut out the plates i ordered the collars off of a&a manufacturing and we built these lyrics this here bird cage and uh what we'll do is both these on and what they do is they pull from the front of the rear end so you, we got a whole center line and we got a whole above center line but usually we'll go from center line down so this is better than spending $600 on a set of bird cages. So, but if we ever need to drop the bar under the rear end and go back to the conventional style, we can take these off both on a conventional style bird cage. And go back to the other style. Yeah, pretty sure the plus three quarters. Like that. Two and 
quarter. Now I'll split that in half. There you go. Seven eighths. Took off.
All right, y'all. Well, Pop's got some little bushings cut to go up there in the chassis. Just for now, we're using just some tubing. Yeah, I mean, it's all kind of going to flop a little bit, but yeah, it's all right. Uh, like I said, we got to get some misalignment bushings. We got to get some tubing to make the right spacers. And uh, the, the best tubing that we have found to make those spacers to fit a half inch bolt is steering shaft. Uh, the three quarter steering shaft, it is half inch inside because it's thick wall. <laughs> it works great for those bushings and uh, we'll get some misalignment bushings for the bird cage because we actually built those with misalignment bushings in them. So, yep. uh, Pops kind of got it stuck together. We'll have to move. I got to move that bird cage there out that way a little bit. But the rear end's pretty much centered and uh, this side looks pretty good here. I kind of guessed on where the bird cages need to be. So I'll get this one moved out and uh, we'll get some we'll get some other part. We're gonna bolt that J bar on yeah. and we're gonna cut this pull bar, kind of get an idea where it needs to go. Splice it back together and uh, until we get our center center. So y'all hang out with us. We're gonna bolt some more parts on. All right, y'all. I'm gonna leave it on real time for just a little bit. Uh, we're gonna swing that J bar down there, get it bolted onto the pinion, and uh, see how close it is. And then keeping the rear end center, but a lot of times what we like to do is put the car in dynamic and then center the rear end, center the pinion. So that's how we like to do it. I know that may be wrong for some, it may be right for some, but that's just how we've made it work. So we're gonna get that J bar bolted on. And then here in a minute, I'll probably throw it back up on time lapse while we do the pull bar stuff. Cause that may take a little bit cutting that and welding that. So if it ain't right, it ain't wrong. <laughs> turn that very center part it'll yeah bring it out hey hold that up just a minute left hand's not screwing in huh no i'm talking about screw it out it'll uh, both ends will go out it's, it's both just really don't ain't the smoothest in there what was that an inch and 16 inch one inch one inch what uh your uh, adjuster yeah one inch h one inch This stuff is just gonna flop around. 
But right now, we just really want to see this thing rolling. Because we've put a lot of hard work into this thing, so. We don't have jack bolts for the rear, but we may come up with something to make it work. Hey, don't we have a socket? Yeah. Into the eight track? Yeah. If that's into the eight track. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have one. I think that's what this wrench is. It's all right for now. I have to get it rolling. You get to looking at it. Just a little bit closer now, baby. I think I can come way up on this bar. Huh? I think I can come way up on this bar. Well, I, yeah, I just kind of stuck it in there. Yep. She all right. We'll figure it out. This is the left hand here. I don't know what that hind is right there. Oh. I don't know what. Let me, uh, let me see if I can look at it and see. I got a... It looks like a right hand. That looks like a right hand? Yep. Looks like a right hand. Alright, All right, so we got the J bar in it. And now we're going to cut this pull bar tube 
and kind of get an idea just so it'll hold the rear end in there from rotating. And then uh, we'll, throw, we'll come back and show y'all what all we're doing. I'm gonna throw it up on time lapse while we do that pull bar right there. See so y'all hang out. y'all as y'all seen in the time lapse we got our makeshift pull bar made uh we just cut welded that together so we could figure out our center to center and uh once we get the car at ride height then get our opinion angle where we need to be then we can really see what that measurement needs to be same thing with the j-bar that j-bar is bent we just got it in there to hold the rear end right now and uh of course we got to get our misalignment bushings for here and there well, we gotta get some tubing for up there. But we're pretty close on everything. Rear end centered in the car right now. And uh, I gotta do, I gotta move that bird cage a little bit to the outside. But Pops and I were picking up stuff and just kind of taking a gander at it because it's been a long road coming. And I think we, we're getting real close now to the nitty gritty of. Yep of getting uh, sheet metal on it, getting some wiring on it, brake lines, stuff like that. Once Big Jake gets the tub and everything made and the interior made, and usually he does one piece of decking for us right here. Once he does that, then we can put our battery cut off in that piece of decking. I like to do it beside me on top of the decking so I can reach over and grab it if I have to. Without bumping it. Yeah, without bumping it with my hand. So, And a lot of times, a lot of people say that's bad because if a chunk of mud hits it. But... That's just one of them things. I'd rather be safe than sorry sometimes. So bolted the mid plate in because we had it laying over here on the shelf and uh, just kind of getting an idea where sheet metal is going to be. But we got to get a left front tie rod. Uh, we're just going to get a straight tube for that. We'll get Himes and all for it. Get it put on and the steering will all be done. And uh, we got to work on our spring perch mounts for the rear. We do have the bottom perches. Uh, we're going to figure out where we want to put those. Get a jack bolt for the top on left and right rear. And we'll be able to sit this thing on the ground. And see what she looks like rolling. It's been a lot of work going in this chassis. Um, there's not any videos of us doing all the work on the bottom of this chassis. Uh, we started up the YouTube after all the work was done on this car, pretty much. Well, all the fab work anyway. And, uh, but just to give a little background for those that don't know, the bottom of this car was all kind of mangled. It was kind of pieced together. There were bent bars that went crazy angles and they were trying to make drive shaft clearance and stuff like that. Pops and I completely cut out the whole bottom X brace of this car and redone every bit of that. So I may, uh, if y'all hang out, I'll grab some pictures of all that work, the before and after, and that's how I'll put them in this video. And I'll show y'all exactly what we've done because I have pictures of everything that we cut out and, and replaced. So y'all hang out. I'll have pictures at the end of this video that shows that. But we're getting there, y'all. Y'all just hang out with us. We promise we're going to get some good content coming. We're going to start bolting everything on this thing that we have, and then uh, we'll get some sheet metal on it. And then we can go to town wiring and plumbing. And, uh, of course, we'll video all that. Pops and I are both pretty anal when it comes to plumbing and wiring. So we try to make things as neat as possible. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely video every bit of it. So we're not going to cut out anything. We appreciate everyone watching. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't hit that subscribe button for us yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave us a like comment on the video tell us where you're from we like to know where everybody's from so y'all hang out with us we got a lot of content coming but for now we're going to enjoy the rest of our beautiful sunday and until next time appreciate you watching guys god bless you see y'all